All right, so Harbor Freight used to sell a 90 amp welder, which was a piece of garbage, but it was it was okay, you know, for beginners, learn to weld that kind of thing. Um, the low was too hot for sheet metal, and the high wasn't high enough for anything. Now they have 125 amp. It also uses 120 regular outlet power, like so. Exact same top hinge cover. It's $99. Uh, without a coupon. I mean, it might be on sale. I don't know. Um, and I've been working with it for about a week. I did an exhaust on this Datsun and that stuff. And I gotta say, it works pretty good. It's flux core only. It doesn't have the options that the 170 amp welder does. You can't you can't shield it in any way. It, it's just a regular flux core 125 amp welder. It, you use E 71 T G S. Uh, 30 or 35, that's the two thicknesses you can use. Um, let me show you how it works. An uncut review. Not quite out of the box, but it also comes with this face shield with a number 11 glass in it. It works for repairing fences and whatnot. For a helmet, I'm going to be using my old, almost opaque, Piece of garbage. Oh, these helmets, they're good helmets. Um, unlike some cheap Chinese ones, they don't have an after flash. Because I've tested some helmets before, and then after a couple weeks of testing, I've decided that they are not worth the plastic they are melted from. So to speak, you know. So Two pound spool is the biggest you go. It comes with the whole pound. Uh, minimum, maximum. And the speed of the wire is all you can control. I'm gonna set it right now to minimum. Turn it on. And lay a test speed on this rusty scrap steel. So, okay, I can't see nothing out of this helmet. Of course, I forget my brush. I might want to turn that off. This is the bead. On low, bad ground. Let's see if I can get it to ground a little better. Now, I'm gonna turn it on high, or maximum, or whatever. Currently have the speed set right below four. That's where it seems happiest. black but uh on high it sets a lot better could it be because of the ground i'm gonna try it on low again see if it'll do a little better Here it is on low. As you can see, it doesn't penetrate, obviously, nowhere near as much. 
but with a better ground. So if your weld looks like that, chances are you have a bad ground. If your weld looks like this, because the, the two outer extremes, they're both on the same setting. The center one, of course, is on high, and that welds a lot better. Let me show you how it does on sheet metal. Two aluminized two and a half inch exhaust tubing. Nothing special. It's set to minimum right now. Nope. So this is on obviously a lot cleaner steel to work with. Set the minimum exhaust tubing, plenty of penetration. But then again, this is what 16 gauge. That's a decent welder. What I like about it is the wire feed is consistent. Um, I've only put about two pounds of wire through it, so I don't know how long it'll last. That I can't tell you. I'm sorry, but. What I can tell you is that this plastic feed mechanism, eventually it's gonna give up. The last 90 amp that I had, it lasted me five years. Uh, and it worked all the way until I threw it away because the feed mechanism just was so inconsistent, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. And it was only $100 anyway. So now, here's the final part of the test. I'm gonna give Daniel, who has never welded before, The reins, so to speak. I'm gonna set it to maximum, set everything up for him, and I'm gonna see. Okay, grab the helmet, grab those gloves. I'm gonna protect myself with this. Now, keep in mind he's never welded before, so don't judge. Yes. He says yes, don't judge him. <laughs> yes. Put it, put it, you know, there's a knob in the back. Right. Oh, it fits. Okay, put it on your head and then tighten it. The knob. No, you don't put that on your face, you put it on the back. Oh. See, it fits. Oh. And tighten it. I thought it was supposed to be the chin. No, it's not a helmet like an army. Uh, dude, it's way loose. You gotta tighten it. Press. Okay. Put the gloves on. Right. Okay, now, here's the best tutorial I can give you. Pretend you're yeah. melting a crayon, and you're stirring that crayon, but you're moving backwards yeah. slowly. Like that? Uh, that should be about good. Yeah, start. Good job. Hey, stay. No, you're moving too fast. Hit it and stay with it. And stir that crayon. Oh, also. Stop. You're an inch away. You have to be about half an inch away. Too much wire means not enough electricity. Go lower. Lower. You're two inches away. Stop. Pull it out. Pull it out so I don't blind. See how there's two inches of wire right here? Right. It has to be this much. It has to be a teeny weeny amount. So how do I pull it away? You don't pull it away. You push it closer. You're keeping the torch too far back. You're being too afraid of it. It's fine. It's not going to kill you. Go. Stay in one spot. Quit moving. Move back slowly. Start that crayon. Stop moving. You're not letting it melt together. Move slowly. Slowly. 
Stop moving. Why are you moving? You're not melting everything. All right. Melt those two pieces of metal together. Daniel, see how you did right there? You did good there. You did horrible there. You weren't even on the seam. Melt the metal together. If you move too fast, all you get is a bunch of little balls. If you move too slow, you're just putting metal in where it doesn't need to be. Go. Go in circles. About the size of a dime. Well, half a dime, whatever. Go in circles, don't stay in one spot. You have to stir it. You have to melt the two left and rights together. It's like solder, but better. Hey, that means slowly. Circles in the same spot while moving slowly back. It's like you're constantly drawing the cursive letter E. There you go. Now keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, first of letter E. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, curse of letter E, don't lose track of it. Keep going, keep going. All right, keep going now slowly and exactly like I told you. Come on, curse of letter E, you're getting off track. You're not on the seam anymore. Don't blind me. All right, cursive letter E, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, slowly. Don't stop, you have to continue. Back, 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 slowly. Not forward, back. You're pulling it back. You're welding the two pieces of metal together. All right, you're done if you're at the end of it. Pull it off. Good job. Now, keep in mind, this individual is my cameraman, also my little brother, has never welded a day in his life. It's off. This is only a $100 welder. Ooh, I hope I didn't break it. Anyways. Um, and with me yelling at him, he was able to securely fasten these two pieces of metal together. You can see the penetration right there. It's not bad. Daniel, congratulations, you are now a a hack just like me see that weld right there is what you're trying to achieve cursive letter E like that Reverse. slowly except slowly slowly right. and you're trying to melt left and right together and you could see it you could see it through your helmet right yeah anyways so there you go no skill you could say this is no skill but I'd be lying if I said I couldn't weld um Honestly, it's worth every penny of $99. Very convenient for fixing fo uh, fence posts and craptastic Datsuns and random patches for exhaust. Because you can run that off a generator, uh, 3,500 watts, and be just fine.